Good morning, my lovely Pisces. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be here on Thursday, September the 28th. All right, and tomorrow is the full moon. But if you go outside, you're going to feel like it's the full moon because it is loaded. That moon was like in my face, like in my face. I'm going to get started with the reading because I'm pretty late. I was out doing rituals, doing cleansing. It was a lot last night, but I was working, doing cleansing last night. Um, a lot of cleansing, okay? So, um, if anybody, thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings and donate. And thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my items. Please read before you buy so you know if that's what you want. Um, later on, I will tell you what I have there. <clears throat> the card that you, rude that you picked today was Manas. Um, a service, all right, it is manas, and this means stand for make mankind and our intense awareness. This is the rule that signs our own life experience and our intelligence. intelligence. It can appear when you are started out on a journey. When the term, when the term is a spiritual a symbol, manas mean, means and intends to the one who would like to acknowledge the value of self, okay, and their self potentials, all right? It tells you that you are unlocking the mystery of life. Okay, um, indicates you on a higher degree of your conscious and searching for your higher self. All right. It also results around the dis the, the dis um, covering of a higher self that relates with God and nature. Every person, every person can uplift to the state of self, of a spiritual awareness. So this is when you really start on a journey and you really get to know yourself. I'm going to say something, Pisces. I'm going to say this again and again and again and again. Everybody's on a different level. We all on different levels in our life. Right? And some people... Are not ready, and some people are. Right? My YouTube is about growth, it's about teaching you your your wealth, your worth, right? To learn about self-love is the greatest love of all. You cannot love somebody else more than you love yourself. And if you go on a journey, you can't take people on your journey. Your journey is a self-discovering awareness and awakening of you. Okay, that's what it's about. You cannot. You can if if you gotta be the type of person that you are struggling. But you want to help a man. Or you want to be the one that they can use. When times go crazy for you, you cannot depend on the person that you helping while you struggling. Because they're not going to help you. Okay? You got to know your self-worth. I don't understand. And I'm going to continue to say this. I don't understand how you can love someone else more than you can love yourself. And I can say, today I don't understand it because once upon a time, that was me. I gave everything I had. Everything. And I'm talking about everything. Start
starting off with my body, mind, and soul to another human being. And the only thing I received was your trash. Okay? Your body is my playground. Let me come and play with you. Let me just use you. When are you going to get it? When? It ain't that much dick or pussy in the world. In the world. That I'm going to sell my soul to. Okay? That I'm going to sell my soul to. Half of these men out here, half of these men out here, got to take many different things just to get done work to do you. And a lot of them, you might as well say the newest thing is the tongue to be the dick because their dicks don't even fucking work. All right? You know, when you was in your younger day, yeah, that's what I want. But when you become a grown woman, a grown woman, it's a lot more to just somebody giving you pleasure or you swinging off of somebody's private parts, all right? And if that's the way you see yourself, you are in for the devil and you are attached to the devil, okay? There's a wrong way and a right way, right, to love. And I don't know which way you are in. And this may not be. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Out of a hundred. Pisces. Out of a hundred Pisces. I'm going to tell you. 97%. Will say. I need love. I need someone to love me. I want to be in love and fucking around with somebody that ain't worth shit and everybody else's dick and everybody else's man. I'm never going to claim a man ever, ever, ever in my life. To the day I die, I will never claim a man. Okay? A man is going to show you in front of you. Once they walk away from you, it's a whole different ball game. Okay? And even when they are in your face, a lot of these men treat you like shit. Okay? Like you are a possession to them. You need to understand what I'm saying to you. All right? I deal with doing readings every day. And there's every day that I do reading, all the reading is a Pisces Knowing a man is trashing them, but still there and trying to make excuses and get mad and get over it overnight. And then the next day, it's okay. Or I'm doing better because today I'm not, I'm not taking like I used to. I don't care. But they still there. They still there. I still need them to breadcrumb me. I still need them to be a part of their kids' mother and their kids and all this shit. All these lies. Lies. Okay? These people live double lives. Double lives. To each his own. And another thing. When I do rituals, and I like the candle of justice, I like the candle of justice for the right to bring the peace throughout the universe. Throughout everyone, not just the Pisces, but to bring peace, to bring justice on everyone, to bring fairness to everyone. Because it's not always that this is how I think of a Pisces. When I don't do readings on this YouTube, I read for other sides. On my YouTube, I only read for Pisces. But out of you two, I read for other signs. Right? 
when other people that are not Pisces get readings from me, they say how complicated and hard it is to be with a Pisces. You know why? Either we don't give a damn or we care too fucking much. Okay? You got that Pisces that's up and you got that Pisces that's down. Now, what they going to get from you, <laughs> I don't know. Okay? I read for other signs outside of my YouTube. But when it comes to YouTube, I only read Pisces. All right? It will come a time where I won't be reading for nobody. For nobody. All right? I'm, I'm really on this huge mission in my life. And I ask the universe to please show me where I need to be. Where I need to be in my life. And if it's not for me to be doing this anymore, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Okay? If it's time for me to shut this door, I'm okay. All right? I don't run no race against no one. I'm in a class by myself and very rare. I tell you what it is. All right? I'm not here for everybody to like me. I look at you as a human being, not a number. If I tell you something, it's for your own good. I have no reason to lie to you. When I do my readings, I tell you what I've been through because you need to get some type of vision of how crazy your life can be. All right? I have many, many flaws. I'm not perfect. I'm not a God. Okay? I don't run a quote where people are going to follow me and do. No. You got to do what you want to do. If I'm not for you, then pick the one that's for you. Another thing is, when you start watching me or a lot of other readers, you're so confused. Right? If you just coming into YouTube and you're going through something in your life, most likely it's a relationship. You need to understand, honey. And you need to figure out, like you in the store buying a can or whatever, can of fruit, whatever it is, or picking a fruit or getting some meat, whatever it is. And that's the way you need to look at a YouTuber. Right? It's got to fit you. Do not go crazy. Because if you live, if, if you're doing good in your life, then I don't know what the hell you're watching YouTube for. Or if you've been watching YouTube and you're in another place in your life, then I don't know what you're watching it for. If I'm doing good and I came into YouTube before I, if I was going through something and I watched YouTube, to get me out of that situation, to teach me something, all right? Then I learned it. I'm not going to turn back and watch you two again because I'm not in that space in my life no more, okay? Some people need to let go, okay? Or watching readers such as I or anyone else. When it's done, it's done, all right? If you're one of those people that you don't understand that you want to live with the devil and you make excuses of why and they're going to change and one day they are and the next day, oh, they're back there doing the same thing. They're telling me to leave. they putting their hands on me. they cursing me out. They treat me. They don't come home. They're lying. They're using my house as a, a squat place. All right? They don't pay rent. They don't do nothing. All right? Then... You still haven't learned your lesson. And one day, hopefully, you will before you die. That's all I can say. If people want to be with people because they think there's so many different levels in life that you may be in. Some people date people. Some people been with some people for such a long time. And when they met them, they was doing so much for them. Now they don't do shit. All they want to do is fuck you. Shit, a hoe in the street get paid. Okay? You ain't getting paid. Now they fucking dogging your ass, using you. And, and, and you see everything they're doing. And God is showing you all the evidence, but you still, oh, no, I'm going to sit here and they're going to buy me my lunch. They're going to buy me my dinner. 
Or they're going to pay for my child or something, pay of shoes or socks. Today they're going to pay the phone bill that is $50. That's all they can do. And come fuck you. And put pills in them and do whatever because they, they dicks ain't even working. All right? You being used. All right? Simple as that. Keep making excuses for these people. Keep bringing these um, energies into your home. All right? I can't even show you this bag today. You know why? Because I used it all up and it is empty. Okay? And as soon as I do this reading, the first thing I'm going to do is get it. It's empty. Empty. Look at that. Empty. All right? Because I don't play. Okay? I don't play. I ask God to, I don't ask God to bring me a man. I don't ask God for, a, please, please do this for me. That I ask God to give me a peace of mind and keep me away from anything or anyone that don't want the best for me. And teach me to be the best person that I can be. And thank you for waking me up and keep me safe. That's what I ask God for. Because everything else will fall into place. No, I don't ask God for a dick. Oh, I stopped that a long time ago. No, I don't ask God, please allow people to love me and, you know, support me. No, because who's going to do that is going to do that. I don't have to beg. Okay, I'm not a beggar. It is what it is. I'd rather not have shit than to have people driving me crazy. I deal with that every day, all day. And it's all from Pisces. Because you can talk to Pisces till you turn blue in the face. Till you turn blue in the face. It, it's a lot of Pisces out there, honey. I can't even help you. You need, you don't, you can't even go to a shrink. You need Jesus to come down. You need Jesus to come down and slap you in your face and wake you up from this daggone bad dream you dreaming. All right? I can't help some people. I don't think nobody can help you because there's some people that just don't believe that it's better out there or that they are better. I don't know. Spirits. Okay? Okay? Okay. Now, all this came out just like this. You need to bring balance into your life. And I see that you are. You're meditating. Meditate. I see a lot of green around you. Okay. Definitely. Don't let nobody throw you off your path. Okay. I can't give you what I don't have. Okay. There's a lot of things that's going on in this world. You better get the world and your spirituality and learn to balance both of them. And it's nothing wrong with having both, right, in your life. But if you're trying to balance your money over your spirituality, you would never, ever gain it. Because God comes before the devil. And if you don't know what it is to be struggling, living in a shelter, in a car, <coughs> in the streets, and you want to worship, 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 you better find out what you want to do. Do you understand? All right. You can't have someone in your life that is throwing you off balance. They rather eat and let you starve and would never come to help you. But they want everything from you. And it's, it can happen every day, all day. 
because you think that you can help someone, but you cannot help no one if you cannot help yourself. I keep telling y'all, you keep wanting and wanting, and when you land in that deathbed, honey, I put a video out and it says, let's, let me tell you what it is when you're going. People celebrate you. People cry. Some talk about you. Some say good things. And then people move on the next day. Like they, the job gives you a certain amount of time to morning. But then you go right back to work. You go to sleep. You wake up. And you learn to adjust to this new way of living. People learn to adjust to a new way of living when you die. Some miss you and some the ones that took advantage of you. Oh, they missing the part that they can't take advantage anymore. You will no longer be anything to anybody. You will just be a member of your own. Because people don't even go and visit their loved ones. They move on like nothing ever happened. Some people live so close to the people they passed away and they don't even visit. What do they say? They souls are gone. Then why do you have them over there? Why did you bury them? If they soul is gone, why did you just cremate them and throw them in the ocean where you cannot go no certain place to visit? Then you ain't got to ever worry about it. You can just be like, okay, I, I know my, I know they're not there. I, I'm just going to move on and do this because they're not there. I, I know I can't go take flowers there because, you know, their, their, their skeleton or whatever it is that's in there is not there. They're ashes. I didn't control my parents' ashes. It's, it was out of my control. But if it was my control, my choice, they would both be in the ocean, not sitting there in a cemetery or whatever it is that my sister got them in. It wouldn't have never been that way. But you need to be balancing your life. And I mean, look for yourself. Love yourself. Because you need to balance whatever's going on in your life because something in needs to be balanced. It's like you got a lot of love for this, but it don't have a lot of love for you. Because it shows somebody is going to do whatever it takes to get back. Okay? Somebody would do whatever it takes to win. Somebody would tie your ass up, would hurt you. It got a man and a woman and a man walking away like it ain't no damn problem. Left the woman, I don't know, for dead and tied a man up. Okay? I, I, you, you might got one of these crazy ass jealous people in your life. I don't know what you got. All right? Somebody here is feeling left out in the cold. Of what? Of a place to live. That's what happens when you don't balance your life and you want to help somebody that ain't never going to help you. Just use you. And it says moving on. It's time to move on from this. If someone here is not going to balance you with, and you got to balance your faith in this crazy world we live in, if somebody want to win by all means, like you really think I'm going to be in this situation and I need to be here. It's like you forcing yourself to be in a situation that is not bringing you balance. This throws you off of balance every chance you get. No matter how much. It's like you loving the devil and you trying to. Play with God. You go to church, but you love the devil. You you go and be mentor, but no matter how much somebody tell you that this ain't good for you, 
that this is going to throw you off balance. This person is going to use you. This person is going, it's like, I need to be with Pisces because I need to get what I need from Pisces. And Pisces is the one that's going to get it for me. But once they get it from you, it's like they trash you and they leave you for dead. And they want to win at all costs. And now you feel like you've been left out in the cold. And guess what? What is the name of all of this? What is it? The pinnacles. Why are you doing all this for what? Pinnacles. For the love of what you think or what they think they can get from you. The universe is saying, don't control it. Let it go. And if you're smart enough, you'll say, I'm getting the hell out of here. Even though I've been left out in the cold, even though I'm homeless, even though I don't have money to eat, pay my rent, whatever it is. Whatever situation you are in. Whatever the situation is. But somebody here feeling like, if I can't have you, nobody will. And let me tell you something. When people are like this, it's because you put too much in it. And no other dumbass is going to do it but you. Okay? And so they want to win by all means. They want to make sure that they want to get their way no matter what. Okay? And this is all because you are stuck in your feelings and you don't know how to get out of it. Right, the universe is telling you if you move on, is it if if you move on, right, and stop trying to control the situation, right? You will complete a cycle, and the cycle is I'm tired of trying to work this and be in this place when I'm not welcome here. And the only time I'm welcome is when it's good and it's going to benefit them, not me. You get the end of the stick, the nasty end of a stick. All right? You need to light these black candles. You need to light it. You need to get rid of this energy around you. All right? You need to fight this dark side. You need to take water back. You need to put oils to break yourself free from this. You need to light a black candle or a, a black magic spell breaker candle. You need to get out of a situation that you think everything, every time you think is balancing in a situation here, oh no, it turns out to be a living hell. And then you being left out in the cold like you don't even matter. But the will says, if you stop trying to control something, you cannot stop anything from happening. You cannot stop the way these people think. But you can get the fuck out of their way. And leave the door wide open so that they can go on out. All right? And you better start saying, God, take the will, please. All right? Because somebody here is going through it. All right? It's like every time you think you balance, you, 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 you just say, fuck. The emperor. Look at this. A war. An emperor supposed to be. Let me be the leader. Let me lead you. Let me do this for you. There's a wall, and, and the wall, this is a wall, and they got curtains, right? Staring at you, watching you, full of fire, sitting there like they in their throne. What a wall. I'm going to build this wall. You think it's a window, but there ain't no damn window there. It's a wall, a brick wall. All right? That's what it is. It's like, you know, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to tell you about me. That's like you're going to be incarcerated. you incarcerated. you in jail or prison, whatever you at. And when you in, especially.
especially when you first go in, right? The windows are this damn little, long and little. Everybody can't stand the window at one time and look out the window. No, they long and skinny. And people be in there trying to whatever. I don't know what they be doing, but it's like somebody here has a wall. And this person can say, oh, I got this for you and I got that for you. And I'm trying and we can, we can work this out. Honey, they got a wall. They making sure that this journey that you want to get on that is supposed to be good for you. They want to stop it at all means. They don't want you to see beyond the wall. And this person can have a lot of habits. Okay? This person cannot... Um, you can't rely on this person. This person, money goes through their hand. Money goes through their hand like it ain't no tomorrow. They can't even control what they own. Like they get a check today, they spend it today. But they want you to see something that it ain't. But they got a wall up that you ain't going to see shit because... They ain't showing it. Cold as ice. Many secrets. All right. Look, just look at them. Look, look at the wall part. Look at the curtains. You see nothing but a brick wall. No windows or nothing. But this person, look how they left you, Pisces. I'm a tie who you with. Somebody's very jealous, right? I'm going to leave you out in the cold because you're not coming back in here and you need to go. But no, you want to control it because that's you. You want to you want to make or want somebody. I don't care if you don't call them, but that door stays open. That open line of communication is open to be what? To be trash again. The six of pinnacle is supposed to be a give and take, but this person only sees you as a sex object. Okay, you have a child here or somebody has a child that they need to help or they need to support or they got to have a roof over your head or pay the bills to, you know, I'm going to take care of my responsibility. But no, mm -mm. you rather give to a man and you're paying him. He ain't paying you. You giving him everything. It's like you the one that's supporting this man in one way or another. This man gives you the minimum or whatever he can give you. And to me, it's a sexual thing that you got here. It's not even a money thing. This this man may owe you money, okay? But he ain't trying to give you shit. And everything he do, he do behind the curtains. Like, you see it, Pisces. You see it. But when are you going to be able to move to get what you want? Okay? It's like, Pisces, you should know better than this. Why are you still in a situation like this? All right, Pisces, tell me more about this situation. The Six of Swords, moving the comma waters. Moving the comma waters. Right? Moving. It's like, I need to... Go somewhere. I need to take a trip. I'm moving. I'm literally got my suitcase. I got to go. I got to get out of this situation. And when I get to where I, wherever, I'm the, wherever I'm going, I know it's got to be better than where I've been. Are you moving? Are you relocating? Are you taking a trip? Are you leaving? Are you trying to leave somebody behind? Um, did you get, um, did you get, um, an eviction notice? Did you get evicted? All right? Are you moving? It's it's just look like somebody don't want you to be in a home or in a place. All right? It's like you can't this it's like this is my money. This is I'm a but it you're not it's like somebody don't want you there. All right? But you're going to move because you it's like it's a controlling thing. Right? Pisces don't like to be controlled. We don't like to be told what to do. Right? It's a controlling thing. But it's like you try to control it and they try to control it. But they're the ones that are controlling it, not you. All right? But you're moving on. All right? You praying, please, Lord Jesus, get me out of this situation. You're praying, 
And that's what happens when you are in a situation where now you asking God to please help you get you out. But when you, when this person is dicking you and fucking you and giving you their body parts, because that's all they can do, right? You're not asking God to help you. You enjoying the pleasure. Right? But when things get hit in the fan where you know, oh, this is getting serious. Now, back to Jesus. Right? You pray for somebody that is literally treating you cold as ice. Cold as ice. With a brick wall up that's supposed to be the emperor, the person that is the natural born leader, the person that has it all, ain't got shit. Watching you. Making sure they know. It's like you... You the teller, you the bank, you the coochie, you the uh the place where they can be comfortable at. When they take you somewhere to have sex with you, you they might have sex with you in a church. They might have sex with you behind their car. They might have sex with you outside. Okay, if you don't have your own place, because they can't take you to their place. All right, because they got somebody there. All right, tell me more. You stuck within yourself and nobody with this six of pentacles, this sexual thing, and then you taking care of your kids, but it's a sexual thing here that's going on. It's like somebody's using you for your money. It ain't a give and take. All right. I don't give a damn if it's your kids, it's if you're in a relationship, whatever it is, there ain't no give and take. There ain't no balance. Right. But you stuck. When are you going to get out of this situation? And the only person that's stuck in the situation is you. It ain't nobody but you. All right? It's like somebody here is red. I'm not lying. Somebody here is, I don't know if it's where you live. It may not be a, a relationship. It might be the people in the place that you live. It may be that you get ready to put get put out because you don't have money for your rent. Um, But whatever it is... It, it's hitting the fan. And now you praying, please help me get my rent. Help me get my bills. It's something here that is like messing your money, whatever it is. Like trying to mess with your money or getting your money. Or it might be a, a job loss. Or it might be. And, and, and this is like definitely. It's telling you you're going through a journey. Right? But you go through the journey when you need God. You don't look at God when you don't need him and when you need to praise him. Some people send me these quotes or whatever they send to me. Oh, God this and God that. Are you real spiritual? Are you? Right? One thing you can't do to me is fool me. Right? You can't fool me. You can put the Bible out. You can read verses to me. But I'm a Pisces, and I was born two pounds, two ounces, six months, with a veil over my face. And this is why I look at a lot of people, and I just don't say nothing. But you throw around God's name, and like... Like they throw around love. All right. You better get it right. Because you ain't playing with me. Never that. Okay. What are you moving on? The nine of wands. Look at this. You on your own. All right. The nine of wands. Like you need to get this right. Right. You need to get it right, Pisces. What is taking you so long to... Get it right. How many more times am I gotta do things to you for you to get it right? Okay. Um, you face an obstacle, persevering, setting boundaries. You try your best to be a hero for everyone, but but in the inside, you can't tell, you can't even talk about it to anyone. Right? How you really feel, what you're going through. 
it seems like you overwhelm and you feel like things is like you being blocked from your money or making a move, right? It seems like you are overwhelmed by this feeling left out in the cold or literally get put out where you live, like I said, um, or get put out of a job or a relationship. But whatever it is, you are overwhelmed. You, you imagine you live with somebody, all of a sudden you not, they tell you to get out. Imagine you try, you got a child and you got to get out of your house, right? Now you don't have the money to pay for your rent, right? Now it's the day that you got to move, right? You don't know where you're going, right? Um, but you got to go. It's like you are so overwhelmed, you can't even talk to everybody, right? It's like you're going through some difficult times right now in your life. Um, you got this emperor, but you see this person for who they really are. The queen of cups, a teacher. You go to work, you sit in front of a computer, but you holding your crown, again, it's showing you under you. So it feels like, you feel like things are not, like the things are blocked. Things are not, it's like you you hitting a wall. Like, things feel like they're not moving. But you praying to God to take you on a good, on this journey and not to leave you alone through your journey. But you cannot play with God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can play with humans, the devil, anybody you want. But you cannot play with God. Okay? You cannot, even if you try. Okay? Tell me more about this eight of swords. Somebody here is, oh my God, too much. The two of pentacles, again, you started off with the two of pentacles and you finish it off with the two of pentacles, all right? With the six of pentacles, a give and take, all right? You help me, I help you. We split things in half, we do things for each other, but you got somebody that ain't looking at you like that, it's looking at you as a sex object. Or what they can, or sizing you, or just like, like having, like even with their eyes, they can have sex with you with their eyes. Like they undressing you, all right? But you stuck in your own thoughts. You are a prison of your own. Nobody's making you do anything. You're doing it because you want to. You are in a place that you're in because that's where you want to be. All right? Nobody's making you stay nowhere. You made your bed, you lay in it. And that's how the world sees you. They don't give a damn. Right? You want to choose them. You want to do for them. But you got to make sure you're doing for your kids. You want to buy some weed rather than pay your bills. You want to buy some liquor rather than pay your bills. You want to buy... I offer rather than pay your bills. You want to help a nigga rather than pay your bills. You want to. It's something here that you. Are not doing right. All right. That it's not working for you. But you the only one stuck in this. It's like you give but you don't receive. Okay. Whether it's your time, your effort. Or your space. Okay. Um, and then you got the two of pentacles. Now you got a woman meditate and a man sitting there cooking, serving. All right. Like, all right. Serving and cooking. So what it's telling you, Pisces, you're going to have to bring a balance into this situation. Right. What are you picking? Um, management. Boundaries. Right? Disorganized. Very disorganized. And I see that for the, with the Six of Pentacles. Very or, disorganized. Like, what are you going to do? You need to organize your life. Right? Keep your eyes on the matter. You are in a situation where you have moved. 
You have more than one responsibility. The path you are taking is not straight. Keep your eyes on the matter because you got more than one responsibility and the path that you are taking is not straight. It's not good, right? Create a system to manage your overflow duties. It's better to be prepared now than to have to redo it again. All right? You got the six of pentacles. Is a give and take, right? The Six of Pentacles is a give and take, but it looks to me like you're giving more than you're receiving, right? And then you're sitting there stuck, like, oh, but I don't know, but I don't know if I should move it. I just don't know because it's a feeling that you're going through, and you don't know how to move on from this feeling, all right? Whether it's a job, a person, whatever it is, it's a feeling that you feel like you're stuck. A lot of people are going from job to job, relationships, whatever it is. It's like you're trying to get it right, but you, it's like somebody here that's, you got to take care of your kids, but then you give to a person that you know you shouldn't give to, right? Your body. And these people sleep around with other people, so you carry everybody's energy, all right? But then you tied up in a situation that you know that you don't need to be in, right? And then... The two of pinnacles is when you have more than one responsibility, right? You got so much going on in your life. And you need to figure what is going to be the best way of doing this, right? You try to help many people and do many things at one time, but it's not benefiting you. It's benefiting them. And so... You, you continue to do this and God is saying, you need to fix this from the door. Why you continue to do the same thing? Then when you get caught up in the situation, that's when you start panicking. Because you keep doing the same thing. In other words, you cannot fix a broken mirror, a broken glass and try to see yourself or see through that broken mirror because it's scattered. You cannot fix a window that is smashed and you're trying to put tape or something to keep it up. Once it's messed up, it's messed up, right? You should be taking care of that from the door so it won't happen again, right? Because you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and then you're trying to fix it when it cannot be fixed. When are you going to see yourself that you locked up, you stuck in a situation within yourself because nobody's making you stay there? Why are you giving somebody more than they can ever give you? Why? It's a feeling that you're going through. You got your emotions involved. And you're selling your soul to the devil. Because you're not getting anything back from it, but a bunch of nonsense. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.